Hello and welcome to another Wobby Camera Guy video. If you ever wanted to add an opening title sequence or open credits to your video clip and emulate what they do sometimes in the films whereby the words to those opening credits start very very small, they grow and grow and grow so they're almost filling the screen and then they fade out and they're followed by the next sequence. Well I think one way of doing it utilizing Hit Film Express so I thought I'd share it with you. So let's get started. So in the timeline I've got a simple video clip here of a street food vendor and what I'd like to do is add two lines of opening sequence credits to this just as a bit of a demonstration. So the way we do this is we first of all make a composite video clip. So I'll click on that little symbol, click OK on the defaults, click on new layer, click text. I'm going to rename that do by, by doing a right click and we'll simply just call it one in this case. Click back onto it. As you can see our cursor there, so I'm simply going to add our first line of text. Okay, so nothing very original here, but it's just a demonstration. So what we need to do at the very start of our video clip, we actually don't want those words to show at all, and then they'll grow up to render it sort of three seconds into the clip. So the way we do this is click that little symbol there onto the adjacent to the text, click transform. And what we need to do is first of all, we're going to scale it. So we'll click scale. It's made a little sort of keyframe there, which effectively is an anchor point in time. As you can see, we're at 100%. And what we actually want to do is be at 0%. So we hover our mouse over those 100% sort of figures, do a left click, hold the mouse button down, and we'll just drag it to the left until we read as effectively 0. 1% will do. It's just a demonstration. I'm going to move now our timeline cursor to around about sort of three seconds, which is where we want the maximum height of our characters to be. So again, similar sort of thing, but now we're going to move our cursor to the right, or sort of the mouse button, the mouse to the right, I can't speak today, to around about sort of 250%. So that's at the maximum. So if we just dial our little video clip again, you can see it grows up to the maximum there. What I'd like to do is around about two seconds into that video clip, I'd like these words to start to sort of fade out. So the way we do this is we're at two seconds. I'll click opacity. And what we, at the moment, we're at 100% opacity, which is fine. Move the timeline cursor up till around about sort of three seconds. And then what I'm going to do is reduce that opacity down to zero. Again, holding the left button mouse down and moving it to the left. So I'm going to replay that little video clip. It comes through and then fades out. So that's our first little sort of opening credit. And what I'd like to do then is create a second um, line of uh, opening credit, just so a bit of a demonstration. So again, we'll click new layer, click text. We'll rename that and we'll just simply call that two. Okay, click on that again. You see our flashing curves there with the text. So I'm gonna just put some text in there. So nothing for originality, but it'll do, it's fine. So we're at number two, and what we do then is simply to click onto our little symbol there, click on transform. Again, we'll click on to scale. At the moment we're at 100%, we'll reduce that right down to zero. There you go, 1% will do. We move another three seconds. So it's around about sort of six seconds there, as you can see. And what we'll do, again, we'll bring this up now to around about 250%. So we match the first line of opening credit text. So that'll do 250%. And then we'll do a similar sort of thing again. So with the fading out or the, or the opacity. So move it back a second. So we're at five seconds. Click opacity, so to 100%. Move the timeline cursor to right six seconds. Reduce that opacity down to zero. So then when we start our video clip, hopefully we should see two opening credits. So there we go, the first one, followed by the second one. And what I'll do, I'll just show you the finished result now. But as I say, the playback in hit film is not that brilliant. So here we go with the finished result. And there you go. It's just a nice way of adding a little bit of interest to your video clips, either the opening ones or perhaps on your closing credits as well. So just thought I'd share this with you. Um, I'm still learning, as you can tell, just finding little bits as I'm going along, which I thought perhaps you might find interesting as well. So many thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to catch me on my channel, there's some more little video clips on HitFilm Express, which may prove useful to yourself. But as always, appreciate you watching, and I'll catch up with you soon.